Good evening, this is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Tonight is the 24th of February, the year of our Lord 2021. It is Wednesday evening. And tonight our devotion is something better. And the text is from St. Mark's Gospel, the fifth chapter. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And a great crowd followed him. And there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for twelve years. She came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed from her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? But the woman came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. So far the text. The woman with the bleeding problem had good reason to be afraid. By custom, her illness made her unclean. Someone who should never go into a crowd, much less touch a famous rabbi. But she was desperate, and so she decided to steal her healing, to touch Jesus' clothes and run, all in secret. But Jesus wanted something better for her, and so as soon as he realized, he basically forced the issue. She told the truth, and instead of being punished, she was blessed. Jesus publicly confirmed her healing, called her daughter, and sent her away in peace. He gave the woman her whole life back again, not just physically, but spiritually, socially, and emotionally. God cares about you in the same way. There may be one area where you desperately want His help, and it is good for you to seek it. But He wants more for you. He wants you to be His joyful, blessed, and forgiven child, living with the real life that Jesus offers everyone who trusts in Him. That is why Jesus died and rose again for you. And the prayer. Lord, give to me what you know I truly need. Thank you. Interesting prayer. Give to me what I truly need, not what I truly want. There's a big difference between wants and needs. We confuse them all the time, don't we? And the questions for our consideration this evening. Number one, have you ever sneaked around to get what you needed? Sneaked around, snuck around. Interesting. Have you ever been stealthy about trying to get what you perceived you needed. I think maybe all of us have at one time or another, maybe as a child, but was it really something needed? Good question. What is the difference between a want and a need? And when are we justified in sneaking around? Number two, what would you ask Jesus for right now? That's an excellent question, isn't it? With what's going on in our world, what would you ask Jesus for? His swift return? I would like that one. Number three, what good things has God given you without your asking? Now Luther explains in the, the small catechism that we pray the Lord's Prayer. We pray not that God needs to hear our prayers, for He knows all things. But we need to pray that we realize that He's listening. So, what good things has God given you without your asking? How many things are blessings to you? How many things do you count as blessings? Or do you take everything for granted? Interesting. We all took our lives for granted before the pandemic, didn't we? We all took our lives for granted when the nation was doing well and there wasn't a bunch of pointing and naysaying and nastiness and social outcry. Did we recognize that as a blessing from God? You know, God allowed Israel to go into captivity several times because of their disobedience to His Word and to His authority. Are we heading into an era of captivity? 
Interesting thought. Something to think about. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings you have given us in your Son, Christ Jesus, our Lord. Much like the lady who is unclean, so are we unclean with sin. Cleanse us by your touch. Restore us. Heal us and make us the children that you want. Bless us the way you want to bless us. But most of all, help us to understand that everything in our life is indeed a blessing from you. For you own it all. We are simply stewards. Bless us this evening with your peace. And bless us this Lenten tide with better understanding of how you work in our lives. And use us to share the good news of Christ crucified and risen from the dead. Bless us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray God does bless you this evening. Have a wonderful night in the Lord.